the bottle of precious perfume. Welcome, good day, and hello to silent time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Amongst the things you would least expect to be mentioned among the gospel is a bottle of perfume that itself is already strange. It is mentioned in the gospel, in the good news, in the reports about Jesus. And even more strange is the situation in which it appears. Jesus is having a meal together with Simon the leper. Probably they discussed about some serious topics or religious questions, whatever it might have been. But suddenly a woman came in walks straight directly to him and pours that precious perfume over his head. She's so very excited. She even does not open the bottle, simply breaks it. Is it an insane person? Does she need psychological help? Far from that, she gives a positive example to us. She's one of the few persons who have understood already during the lifetime of Jesus how precious he is, how precious the things are that he brings for us, what he does for us, that Jesus reveals God. She, she shows the significance, the excitement of faith. Mike 14, verse 3, While Jesus was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Is our faith too cold to understand that? Do we judge on that person, on that woman? The Bible shows us in a positive way people who have a heart on fire, strong faith and excitement about the thing of Jesus and of God. When the two disciples in Emmaus recognized the risen Lord, among the first words are, did our hearts not burn when he was talking with us? And St. Paul mentions, the love of God is poured out in our hearts. That is the excitement, the burning heart of faith. Jesus has started that fire. How poor and cold is often our Christianity, our faith. Is it still at life at all? Is the fire still burning? How can it become different? How can it become as it should be? Our love to our Savior will grow in the same degree as we are filled with his love. And we find his love at the cross the cross where he has paid for all our guilt, where he has interceded and sacrificed himself on our behalf. And if we understand the significance and the relevance of that, then we also understand that that woman was far from insane. She's a positive example. We can learn from her faith. Lord, we pray that you may teach us, that you may fill us with a heart, with a true faith, the burning heart that understands the significance. We, with our small efforts, we can never achieve such a great thing that you have achieved. You have won the victory over all devil, over death, over sin, over hell. We pray that you may help us to understand and fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we may walk more closely with you. Praise be to you forever. Amen.